<laughs> oh, bollocks. Bloody hell. Hello, and welcome to another video from Para Plays. And today I'm going to be going jumping back straight in with Rainbow Six Siege. I really don't think this game gets enough credit for just how brilliant this game can be. Admittedly, I don't want to play it all the time, but I do find that I keep coming back to it again and again, and that's always the sign of a good game. So I'm actually going to be paying, playing in co-op mode, Terrorists, which is the AI, which are rather good at shooting. And we're going to be playing at Hereford. Um, basically, we have to rescue the hostage. And I'm going to be playing as Thermite, one of my favorite characters. His ability, or his special, should we say, gives me a breaching charge that will actually burn through reinforced walls. So I can basically get access to places where a lot of the other guys can't. So here we are at Hereford. We have got no idea where the bombs are. We have to defuse two bombs in this game. So what I'm going to try and do is stick with one of my teammates and constantly keep covering our back or our six because a lot of people don't watch the back. And the AI is really quite good. Just breaking the walls down a little bit here. I think we'll just go for it. Once you're actually in, you're in a safer position, really. The danger is, as you come into a room, if the AI are here and you haven't researched it better or you haven't sent your drones in or scanned it, you're in for a world of pain, basically. So you really have to cover each other and watch your back, and especially watch your six, which is probably what I'm going to do. Rocking the free world with my 556. Let's get in and push a little bit further in and see if we can find the first bomb site. I think what I'll do is I'll push up a little bit, maybe get some flashbangs down there, because we need to pick that up, and obviously we've got a guy down. You can get them back up if they're not completely down and out. So we know there's an enemy down there. I might put a flash down and quickly have a look around that corner. You've got to be slow with this, like this guy running straight in front of me. Have a predetermined guy who's out in the lead. I mean, he got himself killed. You've got to take it nice and slow in this game. Cover your angles, watch where the enemy could be firing from. Take it slow, and as I mentioned, you really do need to watch your six. The enemy will flank you in this game. And they really are quite accurate. Loading back. So I'm going to stay back a little bit, give these guys a little bit of breathing room, and I'm going to watch our back as we go down to the bottom of the stairs here. This is actually not the best of tactics, actually. Um, one grenade, or the one of the suicide bombers in the game, would have probably taken us out. So I'm just going to do a, literally a quick scan with the camera. Just, right, there's a bomb there. That enemy's down. So it looks like the actual bomb room at this stage is empty. So... While these guys cover these walls, I'm going to sprint straight over to the wall, get ourselves in. Just check there's nothing. I can hear a bomb beeping. There it is. Check that out. Make sure there's no more. It sounds like there's another one somewhere. Right. He's coming. He's got the diffuser. He's going to put that down. So now I need to get myself into a really a defensive position here. As you can see at the bottom, I've got a marker to mark locations for the other users. I've got a camera. I've also got a camera that I can throw out, option of changing my uh, rate of fire, and I've also got my two breachy charges. There we go, and here's the enemy, they're going to start coming in now. This fucking idiot, get out of the bloody way, standing in front of me. Friendly fire is on. Get the fuck out of my way! Thought I was actually going to get taken out there. That was really quite close. 15 seconds we've got left to hold this position. Then we'll have to move on, find the second bomb position, because obviously we don't know where that is as yet. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Go. I can hear that shh noise. It means there's a suicide bomber somewhere. And you're in a world of pain if you don't take them out quick enough. Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. 
That was close. It looked like he took him out. Right, a Canadian enemy. Sounds like they're putting up a shield wall upstairs. I'm just going to make sure that nobody's going to come down. So now that bomb has been defused, we need to pick that up. I'm quickly going to get this. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm going to pick up the diffuser. Then we're going to have to move off. Now, there's only two of us left here. So, really, in-game it would have been better for us to be able to use the radio comms. He hasn't got his headset on, so I can't speak to him. Right, let's pick that up. The bomb location with the diffuser and defuse the device. Right, let's move on. A bloody barbed wire. I'm going to let this guy take the lead because I've got the diffuser. If he goes down, I can possibly get to him, heal him, and vice versa. Fucking barbed wire, fuck off. Right, let's get up here. Now, we need to take this nice and easy now. Don't want this guy to run off too far. Got to hold back a little bit here and just see what the situation is here. I've got the diffuser. I've still got my, uh, my incendiary charges. So we can breach the walls as we get down here. Now, I can hear that buzzing noise, which means there's a jammer down. So I'm guessing it's going to be somewhere pretty close. Let's see if I can have a quick look through here. See anything on the other side? No. So it's going to be one of these rooms left or right. So he sent out his drone now, so I'm going to stay close to him, protect him while he's not got his weapon. Hopefully he's going to find the bomb site. If not, it's either going to be one floor up or down. Right, let's take this nice and easy. Again, I'm going to give him a little bit of breathing space. I can hear there's a bomb. There it is. It sounds like there's another one somewhere. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. So while he clears out down here, I'm going to move up ever so slowly. It's bloody barbed wire. Let's just get rid of it. In case we need to run down here in a hurry. So it has to be up here. This is the only floor we haven't covered now. Got five minutes left to do this. Should have plenty of time. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Let's get a flashbang in there. He's now... I'm going to put a marker down so he's going to know... That I've seen enemy in there. Let's take these out. So if the bomb isn't in there, it means the bomb's in the room to my left on my back. So what I may do is I may put a breaching charge on to take us in there, which is going to be a little bit safer. Just got to watch out he doesn't stand in front of me. Just slowly, slowly. Okay, that looks clear. Which means... Did I just hear somebody creeping behind me? You've got to be careful in this game. So I'm going to guess they're in here. So this is a reinforced wall... But I'm going to use my breaching charge. That'll get us in. He's going to know that I'm set that off. It will damage and kill both of you if you get in the blast range. A bomb has been right, so we know it's in this room. So now it's a matter of just getting in here now. Getting the job done. Defending it. Slowly, slowly. Okay, so the room is clear. I can get the diffuser down. This game, honestly, if you can play this game mode, or even the other multiplayer adversary PvP, with three other of your friends, it is absolutely brilliant. I love this game. I really do love it. When you're playing with your friends with a headset on TeamSpeak, whatever, it's just tenfold. I'm going to put that on this wall in case it starts to come through. Hopefully that blast charge will tick some of them out. 45 seconds, right, we've just got to hold this now, hold off until this is defused, I can hear him breaching in. Incidentally, this is not on the hardest difficulty. Just go up another two, I think. Even this is on hard. I think there's a new one insane, is it? Um, and the AI are extremely accurate. That is very, very difficult. I think we've got this in the bag now. Five seconds left. Yeah, we've got this. Anyway, that's been Rainbow Six Siege. I absolutely love this game. Get it with your friends. Play it in co-op. 
and just have a really good time. Destruction, carnage. You can play as the SAS, so what more do you want? What more do you fucking want? Thanks for watching. I've been Paraplays. This has been Rainbow Six.